Hi everyone. This is Sunday and this is not going to be a craft video. It's not going to be a normal video. It's not going to be a long one either. <laughs> I just wanted to come on here because I cut my hair off today. And y'all normally see me when I'm at my worst because I normally don't put makeup on and I don't care how my hair looks because I'm crafting and, and I don't really care. I have my nails done. I got up this morning and you know, when my hair is long, I've just been throwing it up in a ponytail or a bun. That's all I ever do. And I started getting headaches and it was like, okay, it's time to cut my hair off. So I did. And it's, it's even shorter in the back and you can't really tell it, but it's up over, my neck is bare. And <laughs> I absolutely, I don't know if you can tell. See, it's longer on the sides and it's really, really short in the back. And I absolutely love it. Um, it is the first time in a long time I've not had any kind of bang at all. And uh, I don't have. I cut it to the length of what my shortest uh, hair was. Um, and so I just wanted to come on basically because I hit 2,000. I hit 2,000 today. We're right at 2,000. We were at 1,999 for the last two days. And I, <laughs> I don't know exactly when I hit it. I just know that it changed over. Now, it could be a bot. It could go back to the 1,999. I don't know. But it stuck at 2,000. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm so happy uh, with that. It did take a, a little bit longer to get there, but I don't need my glasses. So I thought I'd come on and say thank you to each and every one of you that have watched my videos, that have subscribed, that hits that thumbs up like button for me, that comments, that shares, that hits that notification bell, because all of it makes a difference. And I just want to say thank you to each and every one of you for doing that for me. Um, I am trying to build a community with all of us. Uh, we are all very creative. We are all very talented. We're all different. And I think that's what makes it so unique. And the Facebook group, I would love to see y'all over there. Uh, we can share a little bit more over there. And um, we get to know each other a little bit better over there because we can talk back and forth. And we have open chats and, and we do share our work. And so I would love to see each and every one of you over there. And the the link for that is in the description below. And I'm holding the phone, so it's, I'm not going to be on here very long. Uh, this could probably be a short, but I'm going to do it as a video. Um, the coasters, I've not done anything with. They're still in the state that they were the, on the last video. I'm not really happy with the color at all, so I'm, I'm trying to decide on what um, I want to do with them. So, I'm going to open it up to y'all. I want each of you to leave in the comments what you think I should do to the, the outsides of the coaster. Not the stream of water, but all the other. Should I just do a color inside? on each side of the water and leave the sides alone? Or should I paint the whole thing a different color? Or should I two-tone it? Or should I use alcohol inks? Or should I use a different color epoxy? I mean, you know, the possibilities are limitless. So, uh, in the comments below, uh, Leave me your idea on what you think I should do with the coasters. So I'm going to choose one of them. Uh, I'm going to do it randomly, or I'm going to have Ashley randomly do it. Uh, but that's what we're going to do with them. I'm going to take one of your ideas, uh, if I get enough. Now, if one or two people leave it, then... Um, no, everybody needs to leave what you think that I need to do with those coasters. And then it will be more fun, and, and we can choose... 
um, and it may be where I do two different ideas. Uh, take two coasters, do them, you know, one way and two to the other. An update on the air, the foam air dry clay. That does not, and I don't think it ever gets really rock hard. I think if you put it on an item, it is gonna, it's gonna feel hard. It's going to be very durable. It's not gonna break. But if you're looking for like the regular air dry clay that turns right rock hard, but then becomes brittle because it is rock hard and is very breakable. Unlike that type of air dry clay, this foam air dry clay, I'm trying to change hands because I'm holding it. Um, I think it's more durable because it's actually used in, uh, what's it called, cosplay? I, I'm probably but butchering that and, and I apologize if I am. And that's, and if it works for that, that means it's very durable. Is it gonna be spongy? Let me go over here. Let me go over here and see if I can't, sorry y'all, see if I can't find what I did with it and show you. And this was, I'm just being spontaneous. I didn't even think about this. Um, and I'll show you the can too. Okay. We're gonna come back over here. And I'm sorry about the light. And I'm gonna pull this, I, I put it in a plastic bag. And I've not done anything else to it since uh, I last showed you. It is very durable though. This is the mushroom top. And you know, that's the sound of it. Is it still cushy? It barely, but you can still, it's not like regular clay where it's going to get rock hard. There's the cross. And it's getting it's getting harder. It is. It's harder to push. And and, and I'm putting pressure and it's not it's not pushing down nearly as easy. Now these are newer, but now these are still you you can you can move it. But it's, it's not nearly as cushy as it was. Here's the fox. Now, this is thicker. And I'm going to say this is going to be still cushy. It's not as cushy as it was, though. But, yeah, it still will cush. Uh, uh, is that a word? Cush? <laughs> it's still cushion. Um, that's the stem, the mushroom stems. They're, they're not barely pushing in anymore. Here's the little bitty carrots that I did. And they're not pushing in much anymore either. So I think over time, it probably does. Here's another mushroom top. And it, it's getting harder. It is. Is it still a little cushy? Yes, but barely. And I really think this is the moon. And I'm afraid if I bent this, see, it's not that bendable anymore. It's slight, but it's not like it was. Same thing with this mushroom. Remember when I bent it all the way? I can still barely bend it, but no, I'd break it if I bent it like I did before. So I know some of y'all were asking and you wanted to know if it got rock hard. And here's a little Easter egg. That's as much as I can bend it, okay? It's, it does get a lot harder. Um, but is it going to be like the regular air dry clay? No. And I think that's good because the regular air dry clay, it does become brittle. Okay. It does shrink a little bit. And the reason why I know it does, you see this, I took it off the can to let it dry, but you see how much it shrunk when it was off. Now, I don't know if it would have done that if I'd left it on the can, but it definitely did when I took it off. And the same thing with this. That's the piece that I had on the inside. You see how much of the rim is showing now? And, and it sort of wiggles in there, but I can still glue it. So if it's not on the item, I think that it will shrink a little bit. 
uh, but not much. Uh, and I probably wouldn't have even noticed it if I hadn't have tried to get, get it back on the, uh, the top. Um, all right, let's see. I'm at 10 minutes. Wow, this I think this is going to be the shortest video that I've ever done. And this is sort of a, a relaxed Sunday. But I wanted to come on and just say thank you because I hit the 2,000. And I am so very happy. And I wanted you all to see that I don't always look uh, like... <laughs> Like an old hag. I don't know what else to say. Uh, but, and let me know if you like my haircut. Uh, I, it feels great. And, of course, I've had my hair that short all over. And normally when I go this short, because I can't put it up on a bun. Uh, I could probably put this part up a little bit, but not the back. And sometimes when I go this short, I even go shorter. And when I say shorter, I'm talking about that, that short all over my head. I love it. Uh, there's, the, I, I love it. Um, but I may be too old for that type of do now. I don't know. But Ollie sure rocks it. So, um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, but, uh, alrighty. I'm just blabbing. And, and I don't really have anything else to say. But thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you. Because it's you that makes the channel. And uh, I'm having so much fun. And I don't have any plans, God willing, to go anywhere. And it may change a little bit. I may be doing daily blogs just about my life and, and things that's going on. It may not even be crafts. And um, it might be something that you're interested in or it may not be. One thing I do want to cover, and this was brought up to me. I just thought about it. See, I'm spontaneous. Whatever pops into my head, that's what y'all hear. Even when I'm crafting, that's probably why I have such long craft videos. Um, somebody asked me the other day that if I, it, I do fast forward on some videos, you know, and, and I tell y'all that, but we are premium YouTube members which means we pay a monthly fee to not have to watch ads. I don't ever see ads on YouTube, but it's because we pay that premium fee. And it's because my husband hates, hates ads, commercials. He won't watch anything on TV that's got a commercial. And, and if a commercial pops up, he, oh, he is not a happy camper. So we pay, <laughs> we pay to have no ads on YouTube. And... So I didn't really think anything about it. Um, but one of the subscribers asked me, Beth, do you get paid by YouTube if people fast forward and don't watch any of your ads? And I thought, I don't know. I don't have a clue. And so I did some research. And no, YouTubers do not get paid if People do not watch the ads. They don't have to watch the whole ad. They either have to click on the ad to get paid, or they have to watch the first 30 seconds of a skippable ad or the first minute of a non-skippable ad for a YouTuber to get paid. Unless you are a YouTube premium, and then the the fee that you pay every month, a certain percentage of that goes to every YouTuber that that person watches in a month. That's what I found out. I had no idea. Um, so, I'm just putting it out there uh, for all of y'all that might want to know. I didn't know, and... and that still doesn't mean you can't for, fast forward through my video. <laughs> or, or if they're too long, just, you know, let it run in the background, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, but I did want to let you know because I, I learned that and that was something that I didn't know. All right, I'm going to go now. It's almost 15 minutes of me just blabbing here. I hope y'all are having a great Sunday. And I will be back tomorrow, uh, God willing. And... Uh, I will be doing some kind of craft video. And I, I do need to do some resin. I've got that Naked, naked Fusion resin that I've got that I've not even tried yet. So 
I may be doing some of that. Okay, I'll see you again real soon. And again, thank you so much, uh, each and every one of you. 2,000 subscribers it is phenomenal. And um, I'm excited, and I'm looking forward to uh, what will come in the future. Bye-bye.